This view of Earth captured from a human-rated spacecraft not seen since 1972 during the final Apollo mission some 50 years ago. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination of a new generation, the Artemis generation. Two, one. Artemis, the twin sister of the mythical Greek god Apollo, now taking over missions to the moon after last night's successful launch from Florida. The space capsule Orion is giving us our first images from space as it heads for a trip around the moon and back. The $4 billion test flight is meant to make sure it's safe to send astronauts back to the moon. Marcelina Benito is taking a closer look at the mission and NASA's goal is to travel even farther. At this hour, the Orion spacecraft is well on its way to the moon. It will come within 60 miles of the lunar surface come Monday. It'll be the next major milestone for a mission that is rekindling America's love affair with all things space. Three, two, one. Boosters and ignition. The world's most powerful rocket. Off of Artemis One, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. Roared into space, lighting up the night sky. This rocket was absolutely awesome. It was uh, like a shuttle, only even better. It just got up and, and left town. NASA Associate Administrator Bob Cabana watched it from the roof of the Launch Control Center in Florida. It's America's rocket. I mean, we are all together on this. Now capturing the imagination of... Orion already sending back beautiful images of Earth, a sight we hadn't seen since the last Apollo mission in 1972. To see that blue marble like the Apollo astronauts saw, I can't wait for crews to be able to see that again. Into deep space. This mission, the ultimate test flight. Remarkable video inside the cabin as it travels deep into space. Right now, mannequins on board collecting data on what future human crews will experience on the journey. This is Artemis 1. This is a check out of the Orion vehicle prior to putting crew on it on the Artemis 2 mission. So we're learning a lot about how the vehicle operates in the deep space environment. The spacecraft is traveling further than ever before. 1.3 million miles journeying around the moon. The team from Houston is controlling the vehicle right now. Mission control in Space City in charge until it splashes down in the Pacific next month. A critical test of how its heat shield will perform during the dangerous 25,000 mile per hour re-entry. It's in our destiny to explore, to go beyond. And this is that first step. Uh, success on this is going to lead the way towards more success. NASA says the moon is only the beginning. Artemis missions will one day help them get to Mars. Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News.